those there people of YouTube, fat guy with old computers here with just a quick little video. Well, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, I recently received a nice care package from Li Liquid Matrix, I think I believe is one to be called. Um, I already ripped off the thing and just apparently addresses on the internet, something, 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 yeah, anyway. Um, but I wanted to open up this little care package for you because I've got some nice stuff that I'm going to be using in a future video. Um, so, uh, number one, it looks like, uh, we're going to go through this bag first. And numero uno is a processor. Now this is for, da -da. this is specifically, uh, for the G3, maybe a G4, I don't know exactly, but it is 350 megahertz for the, uh, Macintosh series computers. And it's in the little ZIF socket for, to protect the pins. So this is going to maybe replace the one that I have in the, the G3, my very first video. So I, you know, get a little extra speed out of that. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I got like four or five other Macs that this may fit into. So no matter what, it's not going to waste. It's always good to have a spare. So let's uh, in number one here. Just a little plain Jane, ooh, clean, shiny, uh, PCI video card. These things, um, most of you pick these up when you look at them. And while they're not exactly, you know, they're kind of common still, you know, this one's got a nice erasable chip, and I got extra RAM for a different card if I need it. But mostly, um, these S3 cards are actually really nice and compatible with DOS, so that goes in the... Uh, let's just do it kind of like, uh, okay. so we've got a video card right here, uh, Rage 128, uh, nope, just a regular Rage 128, Ooh, nice and clean still. Um, this is a PCI version, but my first video card that I had for myself that was beyond anything, you know, just 2D, was a Rage 128. But it was AGP, so this is really nice. These are, these ATI cards have always been the nicest cards to have. They always did it. Alright, now, I was told this card is not exactly uh, da -da 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 functional exactly, so I need to uh, play with it. Uh, it is a T-Sing AT4000W32P on PCI, no less. So again, uh, Gateway, Lightspeed PCI. So I'm going to try this out, see if I can't get her to, to work in it. This would be perfect for a DOS, late DOS, with PCI. Perfect. If I can get going. Oh. Ah, that piece there is this whole. Um, also, T Sing, an ET6000. Man, I like those big square chips. Those are pretty. Uh, I was also told this one was a little funky as well. Bend that connector back. There we go. Close enough. Uh, so I'll see what I can do. Uh, maybe it might just be bit rot in the BIOS. There might be a little wire somewhere fucky. I mean, these little caps aren't going to do, you know, anything funny, but, you know, it looks, you know, there's no skid marks or anything, so we'll have to test it out later. Let's see what I can do to get her going. And I'm just going from the top down this time. Alrighty. Ta-da! Again! Shiny. So this is a 32-bit micro-channel for IBM PS2 compatibles. Uh, this is a... It's one of the later cards, as you can see by the, the physical size of it. Um, and 
this will definitely go into one of my machines. Uh, I don't know why it says 16, but it's a 32-bit slot. Uh, IBM really liked this connector here at the top. It is just a standard, it's standard wired SCSI, but you have to find the right Centronics or the edge connector, and that's the annoying part. IBM, because fuck you, that's why. Alright, so a Trident uh, 9440. Not the fastest card, but extremely, again, one of those cards that just freaking worked. And there you go, it's... Yeah, that thing looks like it's gonna... Again, he always sends me clean stuff. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, so the whole reason I want, you know, he got in contact with me was these little guys right here. Uh, I'll move that right back. Now, if you were to put more than one card in an IBM, which is, you know, doable, you need it for, let's say you want to have external and internal separate. Um, or just for any reason, um, they don't include terminators for this. So if you ever wanted to use a second card or machine, you can't because it's you need to find something to terminate this bus for the outside. Or, alternatively, you put a hard drive or something internal, terminate it to here, then you can have no terminator. You know, it's When you have a second card, you need a terminator. And it's a special little guy that goes, yeah, just like that. So now this card will work for external devices only. Something that you just don't find these. So I, he had three. I said, please, 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 I would like them all. And I got them all. So, important little card. Ooh, rubbery. Uh, important little thing here if you ever put more than one SCSI card in a PS2. Now I can. Now it'll work. There. No. I had completely forgot you were going to send me this card until I picked it up in my hand. And again, we have an M-Wave card. Now, these are not exactly common, um, but they're not exactly highly desirable either, um, unfortunately. These are, were, this particular one here was specifically designed for certain IBM PS1 machines. Um, I originally recognized this. I'm like, wait a second. I know what card that's at. that's for. That's for the Edgy Quest. Close, but no cigar. Uh, the Edgy Quest card is actually flipped over like so and some other weird little things. Uh, but it uses the same layout pretty much. So this is for the PS1, not to be confused with almost identically the ones for the Edgy Quest. Um, something I'm just going to try out and see. How it works. You know, you don't see them that often. And I should be able to get it going. Ha, ha, ha. Now, my very first video was an I, uh, iMac, not an iMac, but a Macintosh G3. And I put two Voodoo 2 cards in it. And sad to say, one of the two Voodoo Tube cards I had was gone, or cracky. So over here, I have both of those cards still. I, you know, borrowed it out of the machine. I put a nice little X on here. I don't know if that comes across to know that that's the bad card and this is the good card. But um, they are both, my cards that I have are from Creative, the CT6670s, and Liquid Matrix found some video cards. Uh, come on. Seriously, the plastic bag's gonna rip instead of it. And that is some good ass tape. So I mentioned 
But this card that he had here, I was like, wait a second, you got some Voodoo twos. Oh, that's the same model that I need to replace the bad one that I have. So hopefully if this card works, I can put it into that G3 again and I can get that going with SLI. But again, spies. Another micro channel card. Okay. Oh, and I mentioned the other one was later model. That's because it, when you see the normal ones, the earlier ones, it makes a little bit more sense. Now, this is another shiny. Mm, smells like fabric. Anyway, um, this is the another PS2 card. Again, 32 bits. Um, this was the nicer of the ones uh, because it had a little bit of cash. So they called this the Spock card, I believe. Um, I don't know why they call it that. It's just the name that it had. Uh, this particular one is as a Terminator, just like that. But it doesn't have a notch. Mm. So you can put, get it on there backwards. It was on there backwards. Luckily, there's a little, you know, you won't be able to see it. But there's a pin one hole at the very top left of that thing. And there's a pin one on here. So it was on there backwards. It shouldn't matter, I don't think. But anyway, um, this is the very standard, you know, de facto card that most PS2s had. And it's good to have some, those are special sims. Uh, the, the one thing to remember about these cards, if you're just now coming into them, um, they look like normal 30-pin sims. They are not. Again, the mo the unofficial motto of IBM is because fuck you, that's why. So these are slightly different. Uh, slightly differently wired. Let me phrase it like that. So IBM, in their infinite wisdom, decided to... Well, how does the computer know how big the sim is that you put in there? So they wired it so each sim would tell the control or the control the computer how big it was, and they didn't follow any kind of standard, so they just said "fuck you," and that's the way it came to be. So all these sims, even the, all of them in the PS2 line, are like that. They are all wired at least slightly different. They won't work anything except for IBMs, and even. I, each every single IBM machine almost had a special sim for it. So that is the really the Achilles heel of the PS2 systems is uh, special snowflake RAM. Number two is obviously sound cards, but you know you can get away, get around that. So these are almost certainly 256k sims. Uh, two chips with a, a f that might be a real or could be a fake parody. But it's uh, almost certainly 256K. If you ever find these in any sort of quantity that are one megabyte, and they, they will work in this card, they also are for the IBM model 25 and 30, the 286. So there is a little bit of overlap, but those two uh, one meg sims are very uncommon here unless you make your own. Uh, you can get, you can take uh, a normal sim and modify it slightly with a little bit of bodge wires and you can make it work in these things. Not exactly optimal, but it is what it is. But that is the end of the box, so uh, which way did that go? Is there actually a marked pin one or is it, no, it doesn't say anything? I mean, it shouldn't. I'd have to look at the thing to make sure, but I'm just going to assume that that little hole is pin 1, and I am going to put that on pin 1. There we go. And just leave it like that. So it is. this would be a nice card for 
external CD-ROM, external uh, external uh, scanner, uh, something like that. Again, special connector. Hooray IBM. I think I have one cable that works on these. One. It's just... <sighs> IBM. It's been Fat Guy with Old Computers. Thanks for looking at this little help me with this care package. Thank you very much, Liquid Matrix, for your untold generosity. And if anybody else wants to be generous, you know, didn't make a little contest out of it, let me know. And I'm kidding. I'm good. Until next time.